Hi friends, I want to make mention of people who are now placing books out in regards to Kanika Jenkins and there's a few authors and I came across this one on Amazon and it is by Tysandra Barnes and she does write other books and this is titled The Death of Kanika Jenkins, A Beautiful Young Soul and it's by paperback and uh, she has the first edition is sold out which was in October 11th and now a second edition is available I think it's like $5.99 through Amazon and it was uh, December the 3rd so I would like to just briefly read you what she is basing the book is about The Death of Kanika Jenkins a Beautiful Young Soul is a book about a young girl who is brutally murdered and her killers were never found. This is a book about a young girl who thought she really never left. They were jealous yet planning to kill her. This is a book about a young girl who was smart, educated and had a beautiful spirit about her addition to. She was not the type of girl to hang out in the streets. This young girl was raped, drugged, and left in the freezer at Royal Clown Hotel. This became a high-profile case that sparked national attention throughout Chicago. Kanika Jenkins was a high school student with a bright future ahead of her, and so-called friends were involved in her murder. Teresa Martin, the mother of Kanika Jenkins, was outraged how police officials handled her daughter's case. Other young girls were found dead, as well as murdered, and no one seems to address the matter in regards to the young black girls coming up dead. The death of Kanika Jenkins is still ongoing investigation. Furthermore, no one has come forth in the relation to her murder. So, my first thoughts are to uh, this author is, she's making an assumption, um, here based on not fact at all uh it's very fictional and uh stating such you know that there is an involvement and her death was murdered my second thought is i don't know how uh she was able to place this book out uh without teresa martin's permission i would not buy this book uh, at all. It's up to you if you want to. I want to now post what Teresa's thoughts are in regards to this book. The second book that is now available on Amazon as well is by Gina McGill. And many have come to know Gina McGill as a YouTuber. And uh, her book is called Dead Girl with Missing Body Parts Found in the Hotel Freezer. And uh, it's available on Kindle for $2.92. And I think it's 77 pages. And this is the summary of about her book I will read identifying those involved in the Kanika Jenkins murder cover-ups their photos are in the ebook and the rape confession as well which states one of the rapists is a Crown Plaza hotel employee if you recognize any of these criminals please send the information to me and then she gives her email Kanika Jenkins was a 19 year old Chicago African-American woman who has attended a party at the Crown, Pl Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemount, Illinois, near Chicago on September the 8th, she places, 2017, in the late night and went missing in the early morning of September 9th, 2017, according to her friends who attended the party with her. She was later found deceased in the kitchen freezer at the hotel. Much speculation surrounds how she found her way to the kitchen and if she had been drugged. 
the book delves into this matter and reveals how the Crown Plaza Hotel and the Rosemount Department covered up the cause of her death. So my first couple of comments are, is that I know de facto that this witness statement is false. It was fact-checked and proven by the police that uh, it was not filed and it's not valid. I also know that Gina McGill went running around to many YouTubers to try and make claims, including myself, to receiving this. As far as everything else, it's spe speculatory on her case. It's not fact-checked, and it's just theory or fiction. The only thing I will agree with in what she is saying is how they did the cover-up in the cause of her death, which may be the Rosemount Police Department, but I verily believe it's more of the hotel who, um, and this will be justified in Teresa Martin's lawsuit on liabilities there. So now I would like you to read what Teresa Martin has to say in regards to Gina McGill's book.